Yes, my dear friends, good morning. Here I am with the answer for this question, Friday the 13th of the month. Given the month and year as numbers, check whether that month contains a Friday as 13th of the month. Okay. Constraints are January should be the first month, February second month and it goes on like that. If you are having any doubt, you can go through the Python tutorial. Input format should be two integer value that is month and year should be integer value. Right? You should not give it in a string. The month and year should be integer value and the output format should be if the Friday falls under 13th of the month, you have to print true or else the answer is false. Okay? Let me quickly explain about the concept behind this. You can see in the calendar October 2020, you can refer for 13th and this 13th falls under Tuesday. Okay? What they are asking, if this particular 13th of the month falls under Friday, you have to print true or else the answer should be false. Okay. Now I am going to give two inputs in this program. One is October 2020. It is nothing but October is a 10th month. Okay. 10 comma 2020. The answer for this is false because 13th falls under Tuesday. Okay. And another input I am going to give is March. You can see March 2020. That is March is third month. 3 comma 2020. If I give this input, it has to print because the 13th falls under Friday okay so this is the concept behind the program let us quickly see the program you can see the program now I'm giving the out input as 3 comma 2020 3 is the March 2020 both the values are integers so it is printing true because in a March 2020 the Friday falls under 13 so the answer is true you can see here I am giving 10 2020 that is October 2020 in October 2020 Friday falls under Tuesday so the answer is false okay I think so you are clear with the concept now we will see uh, how the programming works okay first line import date time and this particular uh, line we are going to import a calendar you know and a system itself we are having the inbuilt calendar right just we are going to import it import date time in that we are going to give two inputs right so this particular line is for getting the input from the user what are the two inputs we are giving month and the year okay so we are giving two inputs month and the year both are in a integer format right so in, after getting the input this particular uh, line is going to split date day and particular year okay so you can see here in the next line if date time dot date time dot strp time the meaning of that is date time whatever the date time we have inputted in a calendar it is uh, taking out the date and time and it is just converting strp time means it is converting the string to the particular integer okay you can see the calendar we are not having the integer here we are having the string here so this particular strp time function is nothing but it is going to convert this particular string october 2020 right this october 2020 is going to be converted into uh, into integer the meaning of that is october 2020 is going to be converted as 10 comma 2020 okay okay then we are going to check if this particular calendar contains 13 in the month 10 and year 2020 right this percentage d percentage m percentage y is to mention day month and year and we are checking that 13th of october 2020 dot weekday is equal to is equal to 4 we are just equal equalizing it to 4 the meaning of 4 here is you can see here in a weekday function integer value 0 falls under monday and one falls under tuesday two is for wednesday three is for thursday and four is for friday we are just equalizing it to weekday four weekday four in the sense friday right so in the if statement we are just getting the input from the user and we are just equalizing it okay so 13th october 2020 in a 13th october 2020 if it falls under friday print true else print false right 
so this is the explanation of the particular program if you are having any doubt you can ask me friends thank you thanks for watching